welcome to the fucking show. I know we've been talking for a while. What's up, bitches? Um, Do I, uh, Alec, oh, say hi. To, this is hey, weird. Buddy. Stop talking, Josh. I'm, I got this. I I'll lazy. introduce you in a moment. Uh, um, my voice is awful. I need to apologize for last week's episode because I was in a really bad, bad headspace. Okay. And I, I, I was challenging everybody. For some oh, reason, good. I was in that like really yeah. closed minded. Mm. This is, I want yeah. this here and I want Not it like here. this. Here. Not yeah. there, here. Yeah. I want, no, don't talk like that. Mm. I want you to talk like this and I want to yeah. be in control. And I was in just, I was in that toddler phase. Oh, oh it's yeah. Really it's a toddler, toddler phase, phase last yeah. week. So yeah. I am sorry. <laughs> and I think I've turned a corner. This I is feel fucking good nice. on, on, on Thursday. You got guitars? Yeah, this is, uh, I don't know if you heard, but we're pretty big fucking deal yeah. we, we uh yeah i mean no not for nothing josh we have we, this guy you bought for this place us. last time i checked this is yours with our money fuck yeah last time i checked Josh, are we, are we a curse fuck no oh, okay good up josh no stop. <laughs> <laughs> is this a family I get it. is this a family program he said fuck no it's funny because i um, cursed it's funny because he cursed when he said it <laughs> um, i heard this was a family program no, we don't have any censors. This is uh, this is all ours. Is internet, there, we man. don't have any bosses. Yeah. We don't have anybody telling one telling telling us what we can or can't totally do. Totally agree with that. Um, Fucking hate my boss. We have fuck that guy. We have almost she. fuck that guy. Last time I checked, <laughs> our subscriber list was almost in double digits. I'm guessing, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm guessing it's yeah. Mrs. Fields. Uh uh-uh. uh. No, she's not on. No. Oh, she does not listen at all. <laughs> my mom. Come on. Have you Your mom heard, subscribed? Have yeah. you listened to any of the episodes? Okay, so I listened to like no five minutes of the last one. We appreciate you. You listened to the worst moments <laughs> of the last one? Oh, Come so on. you get it. Because I'm sorry. <laughs> you saw the Wait, wait, wait. Wh- which episode? With Rudy. Whichever one you sent. Oh, okay. That was yeah. two episodes ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. That's when we talk about doing drugs. Allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly doing drugs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As um, a pediatrician, I probably shouldn't talk about doing drugs. Okay. No, we're not going to talk about. But I did smoke dr- before coming here. Doing <laughs> illegal <laughs> drugs. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm feeling pretty oh, good. Right on, bro. Man. Yeah. So the idea, Josh, behi- the idea behind <laughs> the podcast. Cheers, everybody! Cheers. By, yeah, by the way, this is awesome. Um, Can we do this every week? This is Dude, the, it's a therapy. This is session. what we do yeah. every week. It's really great. What this um, is what I'm, it is to me is yeah. a uh, it's a hangout. And it's also yes. a, a recorded hangout. Yeah, it's a it's a record so that mm-hmm. um, I I can go back and remember where I was at. I could you know one yeah. day show my kids, my grandkids, yeah. my great grandkids could listen to this and be like, oh wow, this is what Dad was going this, on this is, back this is in this yeah. is back in that day. Right. And it's also like a therapeutic thing to do because yeah. you. You know, after about 10, 15 minutes of doing this, like the the headphones and the microphone wear off and, and you just yeah, open up and you just you become you and you do it in a public way and you you get that baggage off you. Yeah, because I think we, we almost always walk around life worried about how Sorry. we're perceived uh-huh. and worried that we can't be our authentic self all the time. Yeah. And Preach when it. you do it yeah, yeah. publicly, it. when you do it publicly, you yeah. just let it go. Yeah. And you're like, look, this is me. And it's public, right. and Dude. this is what it is, and right. and accept me or don't, but this is who I am, and you feel very relieved. Yeah. You walk out of the studio feeling it's like coming like, out of the closet, man. Yeah, did I Agreed. tell you I how many keep... times have you done that? A lot. Uh, how, many, how many times <laughs> did I tell you? Um, what was I gonna say? Fuck. People from my church have found this. Yeah, really? it's pretty great. <laughs> At, and which which church? I used to go to church. I don't oh, okay. anymore. It was, uh, it was a big deal. Was it a, a very churchy church? A church, it is church. A church. Yeah. Church. Very like so like like, as, Christ, as, like, like Christ Lord and stuff right <laughs> right I yeah. think he went there so, so into that of like Kyle's former church just like, probably just as extreme oh, the Mormon yeah. the Mormon church so he w- he was yeah. a Judeo Christian yeah. and before that which he was really a Jehovah's means, Witness which, which part of the Judeo, like the Judeo part or the mm. I the keep Christian asking him that too I don't really understand I don't understand I don't know <laughs> but I know it was very hardcore it, they're separate and, though right and bef- and, no. and apparently this is one no. more. More hardcore than Jehovah's Witness. They were. Kind of, in different ways. They basically just took the Old Testament. They're like, you know what? We know all those rules and stuff that right. other Christians don't follow. Right, right, right. We're going to follow them. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to be Jewish Christians. And they do that. They're cool people. They're super nice. I'm in. I just... You down? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bacon's too good, huh? Yeah, so... <laughs> but my, my uh, wife is Muslim. I was raised Muslim. 
You were? No, my wife. Oh. So, dude, it's really weird. It's still, I don't know if I'm used to it. It was an interesting wedding. Yeah. Whoa. Going Josh to came in, like, came in uh, on on an on a white horse. You rode a stallion I'm, into no, your I'm wedding. Just kidding. I'm just no, fucking no. around. Did you have the curved but, sword? No, but I really <sighs> wanted it. No, but know. everyone was dressed yeah. in the garb. Oh, yeah. Were you? Uh, oh yeah. I got pictures. What's that? It's not very effective. What's the name of that? Picture? Yeah. Why don't Why don't you just give them like the Cliff Notes version of yeah. the wedding process? What's that so, like? what I had to do, I had to talk to um, the imam, which is like the Muslim priest. Okay. And he's like a, he was like 28 years old, right? <laughs> All right. He's like brand new, like just out of like Muslim school. <laughs> and, um, but he's like a really cool guy. He like wanted to be like a bud, a bro, you know what I mean? Which is mm -hmm. really, cause my whole perception of like, I'm going to meet this imam, you know, I have no idea what he's going to be like. And he was just so fucking cool. <laughs> and he was just like, I just need to know three things. One is like you believe in God. Two, you like haven't slept with Yasmin. So I lied about this. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Yep, believe in God." I don't even know what her legs look like. Oh, <laughs> Never wow. slept with her. Mm -mm. Not a single. Didn't if he touch listens her. Listens to this, I'll be so disappointed. <laughs> He's not gonna listen to this. I'm gonna send it to him. <laughs> don't I'm do gonna that. Find Alan. that guy's I, Facebook. I have his number. He's like, do that. Let's text him about it. <clears throat> um, okay. So that, then I was, was in. Third? Then I was in. Oh, then it was like um, accepting all the teachings mm -hmm. of all the prophets. Oh, so, you know, uh, again, third lie. This is okay. a, <laughs> probably, uh, probably going to hell. And this is Muslim? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then, like, then it was like done. I was in. I was like allowed to marry well, and a Muslim you, wife. If you said to no to those things, what would have been then, the process? Uh, you, you, you can't do it. You can't do it. Whoa! You know? So did you then? Uh, there was a there was a part where you went to the family's house, and the 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 actual wedding was mm. just at the family's house. Just right? at the house. Yeah. Did you have, yeah. To have a dowry? Was that still a thing? <sighs> there, oh, yeah. Actually, I had to give her money. What the? F okay. Yeah, yeah. It's all backwards. <laughs> it's so backwards. <laughs> they they actually have this thing where you you give them money just in case they leave you. <laughs> it's like a Muslim thing Whoa. where like you give the woman money. So, like, in case she wants to leave you, she has, like, huh. 500 cash. Right it's easier than alimony. That's probably better. Yeah. I think so. We should do that all, all the time. It's, it's actually a really good idea. Is your I'm wife, getting married in August. I could just... Uh, I'm give just going like, to give... 500 cash. Yeah, I'm going to be like, here's $500, Mel. Here's yeah. 1,000 Dodge coins. Just in case <laughs> we break... <laughs> yeah, I'm like, That's <laughs> the one that I listened to last time when you guys talked about this. Here's yeah. my Bitcoin <laughs> the, balance. The Bitcoin. Enjoy. <laughs> Yeah, I still don't get it. Yeah. Well, we'll your, get to that in a second, that, but I want to finish the Muslim. Yeah. Is your wife actively? Is she an active no. Muslim? So why? The, okay, can I ask a question then? Because it's family stuff. Okay, that's all. You know what I mean? Your parents are in charge of the marriage. Well, why does she give a fuck? You know, or the wedding, not the marriage. Um, you know, I mean, she's still very loyal to them. You know what I mean? That, like I mean, family oriented. Appreciates what they have to say still. Which I do too. It's just when it comes to church or anything, I don't listen to my parents anymore. Mm, yeah. You know what I mean? Like who prays? Praying's probably. <laughs> well, I think people pray, but the they weirdest do it in different thing. ways. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Probably just but... meditation now. I think the, the right. idea of prayer is is uh, what idea. it really is is focusing in on what you want. Yeah. And and maybe meditating on that. It's there's no difference. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're you're organizing right. you're organizing your thoughts and you're directing your life. I just think it's still you're talking to like an imaginary person. That is silly. Like yeah. if if that's what you're doing when you're so praying, that's silly. Yeah, and I don't mean I don't the Judeo Christians. I'm, yeah. you know I don't mean to offend any of them out there <laughs> if they're listening. Yeah, whatever. You know, it's whatever. It's no, the you, internet. You know, feel free to. They know what they're coming sure. to if they listen to a show called Meathead on Mushrooms. <laughs> they that's know what, what they're getting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's the name. So <laughs> fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, they know yeah. what they're getting into. So yeah. are, are we gonna eat mushrooms later? No, but we have crystals out. We do have crystals. I, that wasn't my idea. That was Angelo's. <laughs> I don't. I, I was asking about the crystals earlier. <laughs> Can we talk about the, the no, crystals? No, no, Dude, there's vibrations so. that you know. I don't think there's oh, much. Shit. Wow, there's another one. There's more crystals. There we go. Um, Are you making? I got, Josh, I, this guy what? was convinced that if he rubbed a crystal, he didn't need to use a Josh deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> that kind really? Of, yeah. Where'd yeah. you meet this dude? In med school. 
Oh wow! <laughs> so he's a, a doctor. He's someone's because, doctor. No, no, no. But like this was like. For, <laughs> oh for lord! This was, this was, he's delivering babies. This is, Amy. <laughs> this is his first year of med school. He's like, and his last, hopefully. And he Fucking was asshole. he like did it for like a year. He's like, it was a complete lie. <laughs> <laughs> no like, shit. It took you a year to figure it out. Like, wait, what was the it? research like, bro? Like, wait, like, wait, 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 wait. Fucking... So one day he was like, "So Guys. I've come to my conclusion: <laughs> yeah. crystals in the armpit for deodorant doesn't work. Doesn't work." Right. And like, and and he was surprised. I don't know right? if you guys know how dumb doctors are. I I've met some. I'm, I'm worried, worried now. Yeah. They're really smart when it comes to like the medicine. <clears throat> And then when yeah. it comes to like knowing where Colorado is, there's an issue. <laughs> like this one girl, this one literally, this one girl, this one girl goes, "Isn't that like the capital of New Mexico?" <laughs> yes, the answer is yes. I'm looking at her. I'm like, "Where's the punchline?" <laughs> no, she really, she really thinks Colorado is the capital of New Mexico. Yeah, uh, <sighs> that's beautiful. Fucking straight A student though. That's beautiful. What the man. fuck, man? God. <clears throat> it's so right. weird. So, it's so weird. As a yeah. doctor, uh -huh. so you went through that whole, I don't know, the this whole med the, school thing. I what? usually open all my sentences with. As a doctor. As a doctor. Um, <laughs> I went to medical school. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, what is the training like for that? Like, are you guys just learning about what drugs do? Exactly. Because you said they're really good with medicine only. Yeah. No, it's. What it, the fuck is that like? So, it's just, I mean, you learn, it's all pathophysiology. So, it's all like, how the body works and how diseases fuck you over. Mm -hmm. And that's what you learn. And then you learn how to treat it eventually. But first year is all like human body, anatomy, physiology, like all that crazy shit. I really liked it, actually. I really do. I fucking hate it. I thought I was going to hate it. And well, then why did you do it? What's, uh, what's your week like? Like, run yeah. me through your life right now. Yeah. Right now? And, and also, oh, like, what, you're, you're done with residency, right? I got uh, six more weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're almost done with the residency. Yeah. So, so like, if my program director hears this, I might not be able to graduate. So please don't send this to her. No. What's um, we can hold on to this for a little while. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We could. Like we six, could just release. Six weeks. We'll, we'll just wait till and you're I'm in Africa. Till you're. Yeah, we'll do that. Approved or whatever, Dr. and then we'll release it. Yeah. I'm go well, it's like a global health service course. You're going to Africa? Yeah. Oh. Let's, wow. let's go back though. What's okay. your day like? What What do you? So if you're on, let's say you're working in the hospital, on the we call it on the floor, right? And so you're you're doing like inpatient medicine to sick kids that are like admitted to the hospital. So you got to get in six thirty, and you get sign out from the night team. So the night team tells you all the people that got admitted. <coughs> Sorry. Are they themselves doctors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> You only speak it's like doctor. a handoff. Yeah. They're like, they're like we're, we're yeah. leaving, you're coming. Here's <laughs> yeah. what we yeah, figured yeah. out. You're okay. handing here's, it what, off. here's who you got. Gotcha. You got it. Okay. And then you go see everybody. Mm -hmm. And there's like, it depends on which, on the day and the team. Can be up to like 30 patients that you're seeing. So you got to see them quick. <laughs> you know? And then you round with your attending, which is like the boss. So that, like the hierarchy is like attending, resident, nurse. Mm -hmm. You know, guy who cleans is, the room. It will is your next step attending? Kind of like yeah. after. Or yeah, in it? six weeks I'll be in attending. Okay. Wow. okay. Are you staying at the same hospital? No, I'm going to Africa. So, like indefinitely? Like for what? You, no, it's, it's for, <laughs> like what do you mean? It's for one year. Oh really? Yeah. Doing a year? To, I've been meaning to talk about this. I had no yeah. idea. Details. By the way, yeah. we haven't even like uh, covered this for anybody listening. Josh is my oh, yeah. one of my oldest friends. Yeah. We went to boarding school together. You would remember that. Oh yeah, from you meant episode... to introduce me. <laughs> that what? didn't happen. Three, yeah, it's all good. Fuck I, it. think. I think it was episode three. We talked about my boarding school experience. Oh yeah. Uh, Josh How gay and it I. Was. Lot of what? What's up? Details. <laughs> <laughs> How gay it was. <laughs> no, boarding school is pretty gay. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty gay. But dry like dry humping was like a thing uh, with each mm -hmm. other. Yeah, remember like because <laughs> I don't remember that part. No, your, uh, roommate, your fucking roommate DeBoard suppressed memories. What? Used to fucking oh yeah. You'd be asleep and not and like boarding what? school's <laughs> pretty gay. And DeBoard, what DeBoard was just like this huge weird dude who was hilarious. I guess I blocked out a lot of that. Oh, and all like, right, Kyle, stop. You go. <laughs> okay. And it wasn't like it, he wouldn't do it in like a like a creepy way. It was like an aggressive, like mm. dominating kind of like a rapey thing. way. <laughs> what? To other well, boys? Was, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. But yeah. like, because he was the biggest guy. He didn't. So nobody would mess with him. It's not like he was actually like attracted to you. 
No, no, no. It wasn't like fuck it wasn't you like, into submission. No, 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 no. It wasn't like he yeah. had a boner. Like he was just he but was playing there, on the game of like yeah. this is this is how easily I could rape you. Right. Like it was basically a uh that's how crazy boarding school yeah. was. Okay. You let's play we, a game. We, we carried around plastic knives yep. and would fucking slice each other. Yep. All right. So let's play, like, play a game. Let's play a game. Boarding school is let's fucking rude. Let's play a game. It's pretty let's good. remind let's surprise each other mm -hmm. with stuff that we remember from boarding <laughs> yeah. school that maybe the other person doesn't remember. All right. Okay. Plastic knife fights. Yeah, plastic knife fights. The board did Fake rapings, dry hump rapings, just be our around logo. campus. De De Boord, I wonder where he is. We should, we should make actually, that a word. I think about him. Debord, if you are out there, <laughs> bro, come on the show. I think about him a lot. If you're out there, Debord, <laughs> after send me raped, a message. After he raped me on YouTube, I think about Debord a lot. <clears throat> I don't think about him very often. I would <laughs> I say tell, I, I, I think about Debord um, he was your twice a year. But Josh yeah. and I were roommates our senior yeah. year. We we didn't have TV. We didn't yeah. have uh, an internet that no. was good. That's true. We, we the internet was it existed, but yeah. so you did have a computer in your room. Like it yeah. was it was the With days that if you of porn it was the, <laughs> oh no we didn't have gigabytes back then. Or right, maybe it was we one, were at, one gig. It was I think. one gig. I think we had a gig. That seems really impressive. That seems really no no no. For one the time. gig would have been like the composite of the entire campus. Here's this is you're, I'm showing. <laughs> I'm not a, kidding. I'm showing a weakness because I have no idea what it you don't is. remember. Oh, okay, yeah, you, right. you don't know. Probably like five megabytes then. <laughs> but, but this was <laughs> okay. <laughs> he had a picture. A picture. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. If you had one picture, it, it was it was just like half a nipple. Napster. <laughs> Napster existed. That's all he had. But if you wanted to download, say <laughs> three it was a songs, head, it was just half a nipple. God damn it, Jocelyn. Sorry. <laughs> This is the controlling. Listen, you invite Stop me on it. your show. Stop You're bringing out the controlling part of me. <laughs> you invite me I'm on your show. Kidding. I'm going to oh, interrupt. I know. I know. That's what I do. Yeah, Josh, you're good at it. But any, this was the day. It was Napster. You remember we had Napster? Mm -hmm. But if you wanted to download yeah. um, some movies, like say you wanted to download two movies using Napster, right. you'd have to have your computer running for like two days straight. And like yeah. by the end of that two days, like it would eventually finally, finally download. Up. Like you really would go, you go back to your computer and you would yeah. check and it'd be like, okay, fifty six percent. Yeah. And then you oh check back God. like four hours later and you're like, okay, sixty one yeah. percent. Like it's and I you're am spoiled. And that's just the way I it works. Yeah. Like if you wanted like a porn movie, like which is so pretty much all that I downloaded, um, it would take days. Yeah. It would take a long, long time. Uh, we had search for the snow leopard. Mm. I remember that. Do you remember yeah. Because that, that, that was, that was back in the time because What's, you didn't have this infinite option of no. porn. You had like five movies. Because it was it, they, we all it so it. hard to get. Why didn't we all shared Search for the Snow Leopard? Mm -hmm. <laughs> God, Asia Carrera. <sighs> <laughs> I think about her like once She's a week. Ingrained. <laughs> well, because because this was porn when yeah. uh when we were at our height this of was porn of, when it meant something. We were well, you know we I mean? were like, also at our height of of sexuality. We yeah. were at the we were peaking um in boarding school with a bunch of dudes around. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> who are humping each other. <laughs> that are, yeah. What was his Seriously, name? Seriously. Debord. 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 Dan Debord. I'm writing that down. Yeah, Dan Debord. Put that down. Dan Debord. Find it on Find Facebook. Him. Find it <laughs> wasn't as uh as as scary as it sounds I'm talking about. No. It now. You you really were, yeah. No. Knife fights and humping? It was I mean, like, those were the extremes. It was okay. like a yeah. Those are definitely the extremes. Most of the time, it was just us, there was like, there's a around. lot of ball tapping. Though. A lot of ball tapping. <laughs> a lot of dares. That was like, a lot of my crew too. A lot of hit, nut hitting yeah. for whatever for reason. No what the reason. fuck, man. It's the dumbest we, shit. You guys know what the nut game is? We played that once in, in my fucking. Grades. I think everybody knows some version of the nut game. <laughs> Probably had our own different version, but thank you, <clears throat> sir. I think um, he's doing better talking into the mic today i'm trying a little bit a little bit okay. thanks angelo anyway he, he suck we, <laughs> we'd sit with our legs open mm -hmm. and we either use a ball and we just roll at each other's oh, nuts right it on purpose yeah and we just whoever quit first was the weakling i guess or the smart person um one day we used a wrench once someone Jesus. used a wrench two That's... dudes bet a wrench Oof. Mm. one person it was the one throw and the game was over the game did over. anybody get very damaged from that i don't know i mean <clears throat> if if i end up being sterile i wouldn't be surprised <laughs> Listen, we'll check this out later. I'm mean, a doctor. All right, cool. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Can I bring up uh, Bobby Kimball? Yeah. Whoa, tell you want to tell the Bobby Kimball story? Go. Well, well no. Bobby. So his name's <clears throat> David Kimball. Okay. But when he came to boarding school, he came like junior year, mm -hmm. and he took on the identity of his best friend from Chicago, and huh? nobody found this out till what like 
senior year. Like, a, like we a found year it out like, later. No, it was it was like when somebody um, went to visit him in Chicago. Yeah, it was, and met it was, the real Bobby. It was, it was like what you like became this kid. It was the last semester of season or our senior year. We we're yeah. like what. Your name isn't Bobby? Yeah, but he Your was name hilarious. Is David? He, Bobby, the real Bobby, is oh, yeah. hilarious. Super cool. So David like took on his identity because he wanted to be like a popular kid. Yeah. Like, it was actually like a really him. good idea. He he had the same cadence and talked yeah. the same way, Whoa. which I think is totally normal. I, I, right. I You know what? I, I think we all steal from your, our friends and sure. we're, we're a, yeah. a composite of our favorite people. But, but I'm not going to call myself but Kyle. Dave, but David, yeah, and, exactly. And start O lifting every day. He, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, right. I'll be Alec who likes to O lift. I'll take that from you, but I'm not taking Kyle. Imagine like moving to a place where no one knew who you were, and you could create yourself <laughs> totally. And you know you what? Just, He's playing a game. You created Good for that guy. No, he did it. It's fucking fun. It was impressive. So him, um, him and John. What's John? What the fuck was uh, Keys? John Keys. They uh, they were roommates, and they had this idea that if you raise the temperature of the room equivalent to your body temperature that was like the ideal living <laughs> what the fuck so so they raised, logic cuz logic they like turned the heat on it was like they lived in their underwear it was like, it was like may they they lived <laughs> they in their the dorm in their underwear yeah. all the time because they were like this is the most comfortable right. they were like we never need covers we're and, always in blankets what? so like they they just matched and they just lived in their underwear they, like were, the entire year were they equally insane is no, that why no, these two were paired together boarding yes. school makes you insane uh, but prison. these kids, these kids Look, were exceptionally bro, insane. Here's an example. Let's take the four of us. Okay. Put us all on an island. Check back in six months later. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. We I fuck guarantee. Each other. No, no. It, it wouldn't. <laughs> that, I mean, it wouldn't maybe. get there. I don't think. But you'd be doing weird shit. We'd be no, having yeah. like. We would invent new styles of wrestling <laughs> with sticks to like fight each other, <laughs> and we would have like tournaments yeah! about like you get so yeah. bored. But we got that's so that's kind bored. of that's kind of like I look back at it with it's such kind of fun. a romanticism. No, I no, look no, back yeah. at boarding school as like some of the best times of my There's life, no even booze. though we didn't have any no booze. There's no booze. We so had, just drugs. It's we did robo- do drugs. It's robotussing. Robo. We did weird, robo. We did weird ro- drugs. Yeah. Right. Robo was bad. Kyle like stayed up for like. <laughs> 48 hours. I, I, at one point, Allegedly. yeah, I, you do stuff like, let me see how long I yeah. can stay awake. And then he slept for the next 48 hours after that. Yes, and then right immediately followed the longest sleep I'd, yeah. have, I'd ever been able. I had stayed in my bed for mm-hmm. at least three days. Is there yeah. is there actual schooling during this? No, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, you're going to class the whole mm-hmm. time. Except when Kyle slept for 40 hours. Right. That was amazing. Mm-hmm. Like he called in sick and slept for two days. Yeah, and they were like, "Is Kyle all right?" I was like, "Yeah, he's deathly ill, so he's just like, yeah, getting over the flu." You know what Josh did that <laughs> I never did? That I was always very impressed by. Oh no, I did do this once, but Josh <laughs> did, this, did this all the time. Josh, what did you do? He would sneak girls in, which oh, was yeah. just so scary to me. Like, th- there's always people coming to check in your room, okay. and it's very not. If you get it's caught, very you're, illegal. You're out. Oh, How old are you guys man. at this time? <clears throat> Seventeen. Okay. And you brought girls in. Oh, Josh yeah. would do it. How'd he, you do it? What was the had, game plan? He had a girlfriend. Then. What was the thought so process? We, we were in an ideal situation because we were in main hall, mm-hmm. of course, right? Main hall, obviously. Um, and it had a second story walk up, so you like would walk up the front and you could hang out in the lounge, okay? And our room was literally right down the fucking hall from the lounge, so we can have girls in the lounge, but no girls in the room. Right. But when nobody's around, you just like. We take a little mosey on down the old dusty trail. <laughs> mosey on down. Um, dude, we, to I my mean, room. <clears throat> we had like twenty four hour boners at that age. You're yeah. eighteen. Yeah, dude. Like you're just you're looking for a bush you could jump behind yeah. and, and have sex with a girl or do anything. I'm still that way. And you talk about yeah, girl. I had like one girl. Right. A girl. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. you brought <laughs> girls back all the time as if I'm fucking like Yeah, but you would you know, bring James her Frank a lot. Up. You know, like it, you would do it you would you oh, and yeah. Maria. It was Maria. It was yeah. Maria. We won't say her last name, but Maria was lovely. Was she Latin? Uh, yeah. Ecuadorian. She was a she dog. Not just Ecuadorian, <laughs> like lives in Ecuador, like royalty Ecuador. Her uncle was the president. <sighs> oh, so now everyone knows who she is. Well done. Uh, <laughs> yeah. well, you know what? I don't know. I don't it's know about that. It's, no, they're Latin. I it's think fucking, there's probably a quite family. a few. Mar- <laughs> you know what? You just narrowed it down to like seven. Yeah, there's like seven Marias there's like in that seven family. There's like seven potential You're good. pieces of the president of Ecuador. If the she, name Maria. If she hears it, she was going to fucking hate me. But you know she already hates you. Let me tell you the last time I talked to Maria. We were in fucking Dewey Beach, Delaware. We live in Delaware oh, yeah. for a summer. Okay. 
and she called me. <laughs> this is not a joke. <laughs> she called me. She goes, Josh, I'm getting married. Of course, this is like in her. I'm not going to do a Latin voice. Josh, I'm getting married. I met a guy. He's a lot like you, but he's funnier, All right. <laughs> better looking, <laughs> and nicer. <laughs> Uh, uh, and like has a bigger about, dick. Yeah. <laughs> like that's <laughs> the only that, thing that she, she could have said to make it worse. If she said that, I would fucking slice my wrist on the spot. Because <laughs> like, you loved her. Yeah. Oh, oh man. man. I mean, Why, you were, love Maria. What was the point of his phone call? Just be like, hey, go fuck yourself. Ex- I, no, that's all it was. Uh, it was well, so. I mean, it was conscious. Vicious. Fuck you, Maria of Ecuador. N- hold on. <laughs> yeah. But. I mean, I did, I did bad things. Mm. What did you do? <laughs> what did you do, Josh? I cheated on her. Oh, you? Josh. He did that. It was Sandy. Did that. You silly goose. San- Sandy. But with whore. Sandy, who was gross. She was so oh, gross. man. Like, he just it he wasn't just even a good fucked cheat. up. It's funny, the uh, the Kanye West line. He was line, a kid. You're a kid. I could have me a good girl and still be addicted to them hood rats. was like... <laughs> like, I heard that line and I was like, that's kind of like what happened with Sandy and Maria. <laughs> All right, oh. podcast is over, everybody. And <laughs> good night. <laughs> Dude. Cheers to Kanye. Cheers to Kanye. Cheers what Kanye. do you think about that guy? You think, I think uh, he's great. Mm-hmm. You think he's like actually a brilliant genius? Dude, his music is fantastic. I think, uh, no, I think genius gets thrown around like daily. Well, this is what I mean. Like, you know, but um, I think he's really You know how talented. people say that Bill yeah. O'Reilly is actually really smart? Yeah. He's just playing to an audience. Do you think Kanye West is kind of like doing the same thing? He's like he's going full crazy because he knows that full crazy what? is is gets him more publicity. Full crazy, right. of course, gets but him more he... love and it makes him more celebrity. Oh yeah. Do you know I... what he sells <clears throat> because of the crazy white t- plain white T-shirts plain white for three hundred dollars yeah. each, and people buy them right because uh, Kanye West made it. I yeah. guess maybe or some kid in Taiwan. I don't fucking right. know, but like, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's happening. Kind of, yeah. And he's doing that because he said, you know, fuck you, Taylor Swift once or something. I don't know what he said, yeah. but something about interrupting her. No, he didn't. Him. That yeah. that was a good. That was. That's crazy. He yeah, sounds plain white, plain, 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 and they're really long. Yeah. They're like dresses. Right. Like they're super like obnoxiously long. Right. It's phenomenal good for him. Yeah, it's like a three quarter length. Yeah. Fucking. And have you seen his wife? He's, she's fucking super hot. Yeah. Like, he's doing everything right. You mean Kim Kardashian? Yes. Uh, Kim K, come on, man. I don't care what anyone says. And, but I do think he has a diagnosis. Like, I think, <laughs> I think <laughs> so he has... So you think he has he, an issue? No, I think he has a diagnosis. So as a doctor, Maybe. how do you break break down Kanye West? I mean, it's... Uh, just in I'm, your this medical is, this is not This is not my field at all. It doesn't matter. It You're a doctor. The I want to hear what you think. The Heineken says it is. <laughs> yeah, at this point. Three quarters way through the Heineken. Right. Um, so he... I mean, he's clearly... Not clearly. This is all. <laughs> Cle- clearly, the last time Kanye and I talked, <laughs> he had some real issues to work through. No, I don't know. It's it's probably bipolar. I had because uh, I think he goes through manic phases so, and like can't sleep and works like absurd hours like through the night just because he's fucking manic, like literally like wow. unable to sleep. And he yeah. has these delusions of grandeur where he's like going to take over the world. You know what I mean? Like you hear sometimes he's like. I'm going to change the fashion industry. I'm going to change the <laughs> film industry. I'm going to change the poetry Thanks. industry. You know what I mean? He's just like... What do you think that is? Everything. Like, Because I feel like that's a common theme that you see amongst a lot of celebrities. Yeah. They yeah. kind of get deluded into thinking they're grandiose, that they're like right. godly. Well, I mean, could you imagine not being able to leave your house without a hundred mm-hmm. photographers harassing you? You would believe right. you're God. Because right. all these people, if you one step outside, boom, internet, BuzzFeed, all this shit is now reporting yeah. on the fact that you maybe threw a cigarette and not in the trash can or something. Right. He can't do anything without scrutiny. Everything. Yeah. He can't. He's not human anymore. He's basically not human. Because right. we, put, they, we put these people up on these standards that are just unattainable. Absurd. Like what were we talking about before? We're going to fuck up. We yeah. all do. We're going to. Oh, that's and life. It's life. If you we don't we fuck, fuck up. up like, yeah. And who are we to judge that really dude, living. man? Right. It's an unnatural amount of attention that <laughs> fucks with the human brain. It's, we're not meant for that. We're meant for little tribes to be right. hunting with a stick, and then every once in a Absolutely. while we meet other little tribes. And then when you put them on a, a, a source of connections that is the internet, mm-hmm. where they can be viewed by billions of people, you might lose your mind. It's an it's an unnatural amount of love. It's yeah. scary, man. I it's, wouldn't want to be like, him. It's no. almost it's it's almost like the equivalent of getting like overdosing on love. It's if love wish. was a drug, if. Uh, Love was like heroin, and you're taking too much heroin, 
you're gonna get fucked up. And like right. this guy's getting so much love, he's getting fucked up. Like, yeah, the, and you get deluded. You you yeah. lose track of reality. You you don't realize that like the the amount of love that you're getting is is not legitimate it's 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 an effect of technology and being able to infiltrate a lot of people's lives and and a psych psychological effect of putting people on magazines and making convincing a lot of people that you're special and yeah. there's something important about you and right. and that's always happened right i mean like yeah. think about um the, the pharaohs of Egypt, mm -hmm. you know, like kind of claiming to be gods. Absolutely. It kind of makes sense. Well, they because were, you, according to them. Well, right. But, you know, given yeah. that time and that amount of love, and, and you know, nope. even, you know, thousands of years ago, they might really start to believe it. But I think it's an effect of not, it's not just the love, it's not getting the medicine that you need to balance that out. If you have really good friends right. that aren't trying to get anything from you, right. they really just care about your well-being mm. and, and, and want you to be the best version of you. Yeah. They're going to tell you when you're acting out of line. Absolutely. They're going to like kind of, they're going to give you the medicine you need to like bring you back to earth. Yeah. And, and I think guys like Kanye get in themselves in circles with people that want things from them. Absolutely. So they're they're not no Constantly one stroked. no one is giving him his medicine. Nobody's bringing him back to earth and reminding him, hey, like oh. this isn't real. Like the the love you're getting isn't real. The, the way you're acting right. is inappropriate. The way you're acting isn't even you. You're you're on a bender. You're on a bender of love, and you've lost touch with reality. He has no people. Yeah. That he at least yeah. no people that he respects. And it's unfortunate. Yeah, and it's it unfortunate. And it's not necessarily his fault. Like yeah. I, I don't think any of these celebrities that get like fall into these traps. Like well, I don't think they're they're bad people. No. I just think that like they got stuck in that circumstance and they don't have any medicine. They they don't right. have any like real friends that are bringing right. them back. So is that something that 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 you? did or would study then now that you're a doctor like do you study the psyche and the effects that certain social norms will have on people sure. and their health because obviously now he might not be healthy yeah so how like how what is it what is like studying so for that you're essentially talking about the social determinants of health okay because that if you think about like broadly that's how society affects a kid's development how community affects a kid's development and how family affects a kid's development if we can get serious for a moment I, yeah, I like doing it. Yeah, we go in between. I like getting serious. We'll talk, we'll talk about dick jokes in keep, a bit. No, yeah, let's, let's, we got plenty. Oh, I did want to say um, the one thing about Kanye is that um, his peers, in terms of like producers that are like big names, like people he respects a lot, Pete Rock, those guys mm -hmm. who are like big names. Jay Dilla. Yeah, those. Well, who's no longer with us? R.I.P. Jay Dilla. Um, like Jay Z. Do you think Jay Z can put Kanye in his place? Yeah. Well, Jay Z thinks he's God. But he's but, also deluded but, too. Yeah. He is, but I think he's probably more grounded than than Kanye. I've never seen Jay Z express any kind of aggressive yeah. emotion publicly. I mean, he's always fucking yeah. in control. You know what I mean? So to where be. does that fall into that that spectrum you were just talking about? Oh, I mean, he's just. I you know, we only can address what we see. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like you can't really guess what happens behind the scenes. But he just always seems fucking so cool. You know what I mean? So I mean, that's just how Jay Z is. That, He's that just performance art that piece that he put on where he went. He was in that studio and he like did. Uh, he just rapped to like one person at a time individually Whoa. for hours. Whoa. Did you guys no, see this? I didn't see that. Did you see this, Angelo? That sounds amazing. Oh, it was unbelievable. I would love like, to be in he, that room. He, uh, there, <laughs> there, was maybe, room. there was maybe there was maybe like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my turn. <laughs> it, it, from the way it looked, it looked like maybe there's a hundred people in there, and he would oh. just basically like take one person at a time and just rap to them like yeah. as if it was just them in this room it's it was really interesting but like it seems like that's what he's he's interested in in pushing it forward now yeah. at this point no, no, it, no, it's yeah. almost like he's he's done the money he's made enough he's had enough fame he's right. made enough money and now he's he's experimenting he's like creatively trying to push rap in different directions yeah. and see what right. happens and see what works and him really and evolve him and people, you know, Twelve Quali is. Yeah, yeah, I know Twelve Quali. Right. So he, it's hard yeah, to say. He, right? he, he, came, hard to say. he came and visited <laughs> uh, our law school. Yeah, and he does. Um, exactly. Yeah, he does like yeah. seminars. Like a, say, he's a very intelligent dude. This weekend, he's doing a, a free show. He's another guy that oh, just really? pushes. Where? Yeah, uh, I think where we're we going somewhere. I don't know. We go. We want. It's a free fucking Twelve Quali show. Yeah. But it goes back to what Jay Z. I think for whatever reason, um, rap order is not legitimized in like poetry for whatever like it's not respected enough but that's mm. exactly what it is it's fucking just really really intense right. emotions 
spoken through a beat. And you got people like Jay-Z and, you know, Talib Kweli pushing that. And I think that's really fucking cool. That's cool. It is very yeah. cool. Um, Josh is a, he's a rapper. Josh rap. He sends me lyrics. Oh, I snap. Send, so I write. I don't. Uh, he just Bro, texts you want, me. You want to spit some bars? No, you want to spit some bars? Wait. Because <laughs> I fucking hate my voice. This gets back to like. I think everyone does. I don't care. I'm Get over it, man. Get over it. Right Get over now. it. It's your ego. It's okay. You send me and Tugger <laughs> your, your lyrics. What was the last one I sent you? I don't. I'm looking that up. They're very. Are you a connoisseur very, very of hip hop, sir? Who, I dabble. Who's your top five? Oh. Yep. Go in there. Um, what is what is rap to you? You know what I I had Alec listen to this podcast, uh, this Radio Lab podcast, and if anybody hasn't listened to it, please mm. download the Radio Lab podcast. So good. Listen to the episode called Straight Out of Chevy Chase, and it's about this guy named Brian Rosenberg, and he's a white middle middle no upper class suburban white kid that is now one of the hosts on ninety seven point one, and uh, it's basically his story of. Be- becoming an authority in the rap community even though he's the opposite of what you would expect someone to be able to rap and he's been right. he's been thrown under question um from a lot of artists like like little kim Nicki and Minaj. said like listen you are a no posi- like due to your your um economic background and ethnicity. your, your ethnicity sure. to. you're in no place to judge or say what is good and bad in rap Which or like bullshit. make any no yeah he's got a Right, I mean, but his but opinion, it, if, it does, especially if it's like, this is an art. It doesn't matter what right. fuck, it's, it's bullshit. It's They're coming objective. from a place of of of. Uh, it seems very ego driven. Like, how dare you, white boy, tell me I can't yeah. rap yeah. well and when maybe you're not rapping well. It has nothing to do with your skin right. at all. And how relevant is Lil Kim right now? Yeah, exactly, suck a dick. You know, no, it wasn't Lil Kim. It was um, it Nicki Minaj. Nicki, Nicki Minaj. Minaj. Oh. Right. Sorry, I her mean, too. I'm getting my her and her fucking bubblegum rap. Little mini. Yeah. Great uh, butt though. rappers. Oh, oh my gosh, it has like its own gravitational mm. pull. You just can't. <laughs> mm. Top five, go. <laughs> so I'm, 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 I'm. What do you got? No, right go up? ahead. Keep talking. I'm, I'll find some. I was thinking about this while we were. Okay, yeah. so uh, my favorite is Fonte Coleman. Okay. Fonte is the uh, was the uh, in the group Little Brother. Oh, Little Brother's great. The, the Southern Amazing. group. They're so yeah. fucking good. Amazing. Um, with Ninth Wonder and rapper Big Pill. You got good shit right on, man. Love those guys. Um, another one in my top... I mean, Blue, B-L-U. I don't know. Is fucking incredible. I love him. I, I mean, I think I'd still put Jay-Z, Big E, and I didn't really... You put Jay-Z up there? I, put, I, I, I still do. I think his catalog... If you just look at like a fucking career mm-hmm. that he's had, it's pretty impressive. I mean, it's it's difficult not. Oh yeah, this is distracting oh when he puts God. a picture of Nicki Minaj up. That's on fake, the, dude. Shut up, that's, Kyle. That's that's, that's not. That's maybe probably. probably. Maybe Nicki. Not. Oh my God! Sweet, How dare you, Nicki? Sweet Lord! Oh my goodness, that's a butt. Oh, <sighs> God is real, <laughs> and it is in her ass. <laughs> This, How about all these girls? This, folks, this, we're looking at this. Yeah, no, also the podcast I'll, got totally I'll, derailed. I'll edit Thanks, this, Angelo. We were going I'll, so well. <laughs> I know. We got fucked up. I'm going to edit in some shit in God that. Maybe it. maybe I'll edit in that Jay-Z video like of uh, oh, don't, something. Don't so, do that. No, no, we do, will get sued. Fonte. Do Fonte. Um, do uh, Life of Kings. Fonte. Coleman. I can't find any of raps. I got a new phone. So I have my phone doing. Do yeah, dude. Yeah, I do. Could, could you? You don't do have to rap spit, it. You don't have. Yes, spit some no, I do. I, actually, yeah, actually, yes. Spit some fucking I mean, bars, I would love bro. that. Go. That would be the Seriously. best situation. Cares, I don't. Man. I don't know if the listening audience sees a day, bro. There's like eight listeners. Do you, okay. Know, I mean, Alec could do it. He he's more ethnic. Maybe <laughs> it'll come across. I was that. raised by an Irish or Italian Angela woman. Do I don't know if that's gonna work out well. <laughs> I am the whitest guy you know, by the way. When I, referring um, to rap once, Kyle I said thought Pitbull, Pitbull was the best guy. <laughs> was there, a good so. rapper. <laughs> Great call. It's I on the you, podcast. I you listen, really you're, trying to, you're trying to expand your listening tried. audience. Too. This is, I know about Pitbull and Eminem. And, um, yeah, Eminem's, Eminem's, good. Eminem's, Eminem's great. Eminem's one of the best. Yeah. So you're good there. Because the 8 Mile was excellent. <laughs> it was a very good movie. <laughs> it was a good movie. It was a super good Tell me it wasn't good. I won't. I'd be uh, I love that movie. I'd be lying if I said it was. Yeah. I mean, okay. Eminem must have, he must have been very, you, uh, you got something pulled up, Josh? All right, ready? Let's go. Yeah. 
Give me a minute. Right. You do you need a beat? Yeah, you no, want because Angela can pull I'm, up a I, beat. You can do beats. I do not want a beat. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to be so. Do you need to for them. You go outside for a second? All right, ready for it? <clears throat> yep. This is like my debut. Yeah. Let's do it too. <laughs> What's your rap name? This could change that's your a, career. Forever. I don't Josh Gray. Jay Nizzle. <laughs> 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 It's really creative, actually. A good one. That's what mom gave me. Jane Easy. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> one stop, two stop, three stop, four. If I was James Bond, I'd have stopped with pussy galore. If I'm going to keep going, I'm going to stomp it once more. Back when I was trying to skirt my chores, Coolio had him down on the floor. Luke had him raising the roof. And I still don't know if anybody had it harder than proof. If you don't know by now, then you're just a goof. Spank Rock told me to let it loose, because this hip-hop thing has got my goose wrapped around my neck, tight as a noose. If it didn't exist, life would be such a bore, and I didn't even find other music that fun (laughs) anymore. So one stop, two stop, three stop, four. If I was James Bond... I'd have stopped with pussy galore. If I'm going to keep going, I'm going to stomp it once more. Jay Gray. <laughs> yes. That's your doctor, many people. Pussy galore. Hey, people out there, that's, bah, 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 that's the guy bah, bah, bah. just shout out, Shout out James Bond. <laughs> Double O. Double O. <laughs> Thank you guys. This might be the whitest podcast we've ever made. No, no that was this, awesome, dude. That was actually really fun. <laughs> that was awesome. I can never do that. That was the good. Funny, that funny, wasn't like, bad. That was good. Halfway through, I'm like, this is awful. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> this is just... I think any self-respecting artist would say that about their own work halfway yeah. through anything. I would not consider myself an artist in any way. But I appreciate that. I you're think the, so. You're the second on, rap uh, artist don't, we've had on here. Don't you think that art's important for everybody, Josh? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I think finding some kind of uh, outlet... Like an expression, important. right? How did you get to yeah. that expression? Like your like your position, like yeah. what led to that? To writing ly- good lyrics. When I was uh, twelve, uh, buying Tribe Called Quest Midnight Marauders, oh, nice. that made me think like Whoa. this is fucking something. Th- it's like something more than just like putting words together. Well, what you was know? it when you were twelve? Like what's going through your head that you're like this yeah. is amazing? Like, like did what you buy was it? I have no idea. No meant, idea. No idea. Did you meant to buy like a fucking Guns N' Roses album and you got that on accident? Like, no, what I was... bought, uh, the, you want to? I remember this date clearly. Go. Oh. Am I going in and out? So it was. Uh, um, you're, you're, that mic will pick you up no matter where I am. Yeah. So I can I can be back here and I'm good. Mm, come in like Angela's, a foot. Angela give me a but yeah, yeah like when Angela there, gives me a good. nod, I feel very comfortable. <laughs> these two mics, these two mics are different. Yeah, we suck. Angela is actually in control. I just 100%. realized this. No, he's in charge. Like, he's, we're he talking, everything. but like he's the captain of the ship. I yeah. got a thumbs up from Angela. I was like, Phew. good, <laughs> good. All right. Um, so it was Midnight Marauders. It was Beastie Boys' License to Ill. It was Cypress nice. Hill Black Sunday. Then it was Big Brother and the Holding Company, the Janis Joplin album, and Pearl Jam 10. Those were the five albums. I clearly remember walking in to the record store and picking those up. And my mom was like, who are you? Like, I thought I knew <laughs> it's who, just such a random, I I knew who yeah. you were. All you those were are super good albums. Yeah, all of 12 those. And when I was 12. Wanted, this was How did you list. find out about those bands it at was, 12? I mean, I, I'm the, the youngest of three. So my older brother and sister oh. were like into a bunch of stuff cool stuff is music in your family everybody is probably some of the worst singers you'll ever hear mm-hmm. um <laughs> nobody can play an instrument but everybody loves music and loves to dance and that was like music was playing all the time it's a huge part of the life absolutely definitely so you got these albums mm-hmm. you were drawn to rap yeah amongst other i mean you know i mean like Dad is probably one of the biggest Rolling Stones fans you'll ever meet. Yeah. So it was like, we he literally has every Rolling Stones album. There's like 35 of them. Whoa. And he's got like record CDs. That's crazy. Digital now. What, um, is, what, what is that that we're just drawn to like these sounds? It's so crazy. Like it, it, sometimes that really like makes me think that, you know, even music that doesn't have lyrics 
you know, it makes right. you feel a certain oh. way that it, 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 it's it, that I, these are the sort, the sort of like ideas that do make me start to think Angelo might be fucking right. And these crystals might do something Yeah, because there's, <laughs> there's certain ways that you can, uh, you know, arrange <laughs> vibrations and sounds that's just going to make you feel good. It's going to make you feel sad. It's going to make you feel this. Yeah. It's going to make you feel what the other person's feeling, even though it's right. not a uh, external sound. Yeah. It's almost like you're encompassing something that's, that, that, that is in somebody's emotion and you're you're transferring it through airwaves and then the other person gets a sense of what this person's going through how sure. the fuck did that ever happen like have, that's amazing to me have you ever heard about frisian kyle Fr- frisian it's a genre of music no it's a whole genre of music that's What's it called? frisian oh. yeah i'm just saying weird frisian it's specifically designed to when you listen to it your body tingles like that's the goal the Seriously? goal to yeah can we it, play some of it no, it's weird. I mean, you could, but it Would wouldn't it sound good. Right Maybe I don't know. <laughs> but apparently, what it does is it hits your autonomous sensory meridian response, is oh. the ASMR. Like people make these whole genres of music that are meant for like usually relaxing and sleep. And when you listen to them, like your body, like you just feel like tingles from like your central nervous system. Apparently, what? yeah. Wow. And there's like two genres. There's the music form, and then there's the human form. So people will make sounds uh, like scratching objects or using their mouths to make a, a certain sound that will have the asmr response or they'll make music it's just i stumbled upon it on reddit the other day (laughs) is this a good good thing like is this a good thing for music to go in that direction where there's no history behind it you're just it's you're becoming a scientist and you're figuring out what combinations of music make people feel the best and and are most addictive and and that doesn't come from a cultural place it doesn't come from a human expression place is that okay yeah is that a, a singing bowl I haven't, there, but you can go to like any. No, you can hear me in there. Okay. <laughs> uh, you can. I mean, in the Tibetans, they have the singing bowls, and they literally pound them out and make them uh, into notes. And you take oh. a, a, mm. a rod that has some felt, and you rub the edge of it, and it makes a note that resonates with your body. Is it the same well, as there's like the, but the, but the glass? Even that, I feel like there's a history behind. <laughs> With yeah. the I, I kind of meant more like the, the EDM <laughs> yeah, movement. Like, you know what I mean? Like EDM <laughs> yeah, but everything is comes, almost... And everything comes from previous. What happened previous. Yeah. You're singing bowls and next thing you know, oh, you're clacking things. But you know what? It, like, it's like you use that to figure out, oh, there's an equation. Like, oh, there's a pattern. And then you yes. aren't... Yeah. I expressing you're just you're what you're doing is you're doing math and you're doing science and well, you you know what i mean like it feels yeah. different that way it's it's like, i can't deny that the feeling of the music isn't uh, addictive and like I, I respond to it but at the same time it's different than it's ever been because it doesn't it, it doesn't feel like it's coming from somebody's soul it's not coming mm, from right. somebody's direct experience right. and trying to transfer that it's just like this bypass of that, is that and, and just going right towards like a feeling is that why you write your lyrics then like wh- like what do you find yourself often expressing like what's the common theme with your sh- with your music with mine yeah there's no common theme Nothing? It's, it's literally whatever comes just to funsies mm-hmm. oh totally for fun totally for me and hopefully like for the entertainment of like the six people that i text <laughs> <laughs> can you know i be I mean? on that list <laughs> fuck yeah should add fun. alec to that yeah, if you're into it, appreciate yeah. it I'll send, I'll send you some. I my, had like one rhymes. person be like, "Why are you doing this?" I was like, "Don't worry, you're off the text." <laughs> like, yeah. Like if you don't want it, it's <laughs> guess what? You're out of my life now. That's yeah, all. That's fine. easy. There's only yeah. six people on it anyway. Yeah, dude. Now it's five. <laughs> no, now change... we're back to six. Now we're back to six. Does, does anybody want to keep talking about music? Because I was going to no, 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 it. no, no. Yeah. I'm, oh, oh, okay. Well, I was going to change. I was going to say is I saw Searching for Sugar Man. Okay. Have you anybody? What is it? What is it? What is this? So it's a documentary. It was like. A year and a half ago or something, Rodriguez. Oh, the guitarist? The guitarist from Detroit, like 68, 69. He he made two albums that did nothing. Right. Like, didn't, like, he sold, like, literally six albums in the States. Oh, But a copy went to South Africa and was fucking huge. Like, 100,000 plus fans, 300,000 fans in South Africa. Whoa. Love this guy. It was like apartheid. He was like a Bob Dylan, like, political type, um, you know, music so, singer songwriter. It was like, but good, he was making statements, making statements, but like good music. It's just like you listen to it, you're like, you don't feel like he's trying to sway your opinion. He's just fucking laying it out there, making good music. And it did nothing here, for whatever reason, nobody knows why. Maybe it's because his name was Rodriguez, 
and nobody was really interested in like dun, dun, dun. Latin music at the time. You know what I mean? So, uh, but in South Africa, it fucking took off. Like they saw him as like a Bob Dylan in South Africa. And so, but for like 25 years, he had no idea he had 300,000 fans in South Africa. <laughs> God. He's he's building houses in Detroit for 25 oh years. He's God. a construction worker. What? So one music critic, like, there was all these myths that he had, like, committed suicide on stage, <laughs> oh like, lit himself God. on fire. Can like, you imagine? Like, this is, no, like, before the internet. It's before the internet. So it, you know, people just were like, oh, oh, this, like, great musician, like, committed suicide. He was like, you know, nobody <laughs> knew about him, you know. And then one musician was like, or one music critic was like, I'm going to go find out what the fuck happened to Rodriguez and like flew to Detroit and like met his daughter. And she's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, dad's like working, fucking oh. building a house. Like you, oh. can, you can meet him, you know, <laughs> when he gets <laughs> off work. And he's like, are you fucking kidding? Like, it's like, <laughs> it's like finding out like Led Zeppelin's still alive. Right, what? exactly. For it's them. Like, yeah. So he did like he they they brought what him happened? back. Yeah, once he found he, all this out, once he connected the fans. To the yeah, he, he sold out four nights in a row. <laughs> like he's making, you know, he's working construction, making whatever. He sold out four nights, makes seven hundred thousand dollars. Oh my god! In four days. Whoa! And then like gives it all away because he's like he's a fucking over, he's over it. Guy. He's yeah. too enlightened. But now he's like, point. but now he's back. He's like making music again, <clears throat> and. It's still good. Like you wow. listen to him, like Sugar perform. Man. What's this guy's Sugar? name? Rodriguez. That's Sugar it. Man just Rod Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Oh, it's just like it's like Rodriguez. six Sixto Rodriguez. It's the coolest fucking name. Oh, Sixto Rodriguez. Sixto Rodriguez. Yeah. We'll look that up. You guys ever hear about sound bombs? Ever no. Hear about that? What is that? I was reading the other day after I found that frisian shit. I went on like this whole music <laughs> escapade and sound shit. Yeah. Read it. Um. Apparently, the military has designed weapons to where when they play this certain sound at a certain frequency, you shit yourself. I haven't heard. It's that fucking you awesome. Do that right they, now. It's a, you really shit yourself? Apparently, it's a thing, according no. to the internets. I can't Kyle. <laughs> Obviously, I, the internet's never lied. I've, I've heard about the, the military using sound vibrations as weapons. Yeah, I have heard a, about that's, that. like that's real. But I've heard about the sound bomb where you shit yourself. Like, it makes you uncomfortably you ill. Imagine. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Do you want to play that if right there now? If there was a fucking <laughs> weapon First one shouldn't that lose. like you could drop Shooters. on New York City and everyone in the city shits themselves. <laughs> oh, like it a simultaneously shits themselves. Such a good day. Dude, that would be epic. We'd have new kings. You would that would change the rules of war. <laughs> imagine. No, like think about it. You could drop it on uh some military group and all the dudes in the military shit themselves. <laughs> Nobody's gonna be fucking fighting with oh, poop man. in their pants. You got poop in your pants. <laughs> you gotta yeah, go you, and you gotta take done. care of that. Yeah, yeah, shower. That would you can't shoot and a sniper is I, not gonna take you out with poop in his pants. I, I did get an image of like every like military person with like, just instantaneously. A, no, like with adult <laughs> pampers on. <laughs> like, that would be easy defense. That's easy like, fix. That's like the, you get like your fucking easy shield. fix. By the way, God damn it! Adult. I think we just put, got ourselves on an NSA watch list. We did. We're there now. We said good. Oh, yeah, yeah, damn yeah. it, so, Lord, fuck! I think we, I think we're already there. Yeah, oh, definitely. Right. I've sent yeah. some pretty bad texts. <laughs> some yeah. weird Google searches. <laughs> some I have some weird. odd Google searches. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what's funny? They, yeah. um, I was, I was listening, or I was watching this documentary about, um, uh, like the. the the internet and and mm -hmm. surveillance and terms of agreement. I think the the documentary is called Terms of Agreement, but it's on Netflix and now it's new. And um, they they uh, showed this example of a um, an arrest or like a FBI like breaking down somebody's door because the the person searching uh, was searching for like how to kill your wife, how to like plant oh, bombs, Jesus. how to really? decapitate people, how like all the most horrific, it was just a, a solid list of horrific yeah. searches. And when they knock so down I the door, search how to kill my wife. No, no. So listen, <laughs> don't they knock down this dude's head. door and he was a writer. He writes horror. Oh, wow. He writes oh, horror. Fiction. God. So he was just like doing Google searches on like really horrific shit. But like, he wasn't planning on doing it. Right. <laughs> he was like, he was like job, just man. planning on or, writing or about he's, it. He's yeah. a super clever so, serial killer who oh, pretends shit. to be a fucking writer. Josh, man, I like he where your head's like at. Super smart if he did that. Wait, like yeah. he's like agent, maybe the smartest it? serial killer ever. <laughs> Suspect zero. It's like no one would. Yeah, this yeah, is an easy find that guy. Out. 
I'm a writer. But I think that's a that's a, <laughs> the danger, right? Of the I'm just a writer. <laughs> heads are like in the fucking fridge. <laughs> I'm just a writer. Bro. Don't mind the heads in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> it's research. decoration, bro. Yeah. It's fucking inspiration it's for my work. Research, man. <laughs> to go back, what are you doing in Africa? What oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, and cool. also, what this is, brought you this, this is important. decision? Yeah, what's going on? So there's the Global Health Service Corps. Seed Global Health, shout out Seed Global Health. They probably yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah. Me, they probably don't want me on this either. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, it's like supporting. So um, we'll donate. So in there's uh, three countries: um, Tanzania, Uganda, and Malawi. So they're sending doctors, and it's through the Peace Corps. So it's like, you know, it's um, your brother's doing that, right? Oh, he's done, but yeah, is he done? Um, and you work in the hospital. You teach med students and residents. And uh, you're there for a year, you know, just like providing as much care as possible. Primary goal, a, education? Education is primarily, but I mean, you're also working. So. Where are you going? What? Malawi. Where the fuck is that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so it's, if you look at the, the map of Africa, okay. um, southeast. Whoa, that's shitty. All right. Hmm. Would you, if that's I said like, anywhere in Africa, wouldn't your response be that shitty? No, northeast. <laughs> I would be like, <laughs> okay. Point. All right, Northwest, like, cool, Morocco. Yeah, wait, yeah, is there yeah, yeah, anywhere sure. you could have said where I'd be like, oh. Northwest is cool. That sounds safe. Northwest is cool. <laughs> no. Yeah, man, it's by France. I mean, Mal- Malawi's is safe. <laughs> Would you say it's by France? By France, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got it. There we are. Oh, perfect. Oh, there are maps. So there it's it is. That's where you're going. Oh, that's seems. How'd you set that on? That seems uh, really dangerous. <laughs> or, yeah. God, God damn it. Super dangerous. What do you, all right, so what are the concerns that you have to know each day? <laughs> I cannot do this thing because X will happen. I what? can't get stung by a mosquito. It's literally probably the da- most dangerous thing. Jesus Christ. You, I mean, isn't there a vaccine for malaria? No. Nope. There's no vaccine. You nope. take pills every day. Yeah. Every day you have to take every pills. Every day. Sickle cell trait. Resistance to malaria. What's well up? Done. Are you on it? Are you I, in? I'm sickle cell trait. What's well up, done. folks? So you can't get it. Cheers. No, I'm more Cheers resistant evolution. to it. Cheers, Cheers evolution. evolution. My, I have a blood disorder. I have sickle cell trait. Not the anemia, because fuck that. Mm-hmm. But my blood is more resistant to malaria. But on a side note, my hemoglobin sucks when it comes to taking an oxygen. So when I work out, I get really tired. Mm. Yeah. But you don't get malaria. It's true. Yeah, yeah. But Which isn't really a, a factor How much here. fucking <laughs> malaria is there in New York? <laughs> yeah. God none. damn it, evolution. There's none. You better move somewhere where you, like, you could get malaria. I'm going to go to Africa. Hero. Yeah. yeah. I'm a superhero like, super over there. Powers. Oh, could you imagine? You move to Brazil, you'd Dude, be like a superhuman. I want toxoplasma so bad. What is that? <laughs> toxoplasma. You don't know what toxoplasma is? That's the first it's time this cool. I've ever it's this crazy goes. parasite Dude, that I want a parasite. It, it causes it causes <laughs> men to produce more testosterone and it makes women more sexually promiscuous testosterone. You get So you, where is this predominantly? France, made? Brazil. It makes sense. Oh, and is a, this the shit that comes yeah. from cat urine? Yes. Yeah, did you guys watch that um, TED Talk? Is that what you're getting that from? No, I listen to a lot of Rogan. I heard um, it on the Joe Rogan experience. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. yeah he, he got it from the TED Talk. I'm sure. But, but regardless, though, there's a huge correlation between soccer stars and toxoplasma. So uh, I, I want to be a super athlete. I'm going to go fucking drink some cat piss. Yeah. Just fucking... It's smart, guys. They, I think, well, it doesn't really like, fuck you like, up you know, otherwise, o- right? It just OJ. makes you more aggressive. Nope. You, you lose a little yeah, bit of balance a little bit, apparently, but you're... Whatever. Who needs that? You fuck it. I'm starting to lift weights. You actually really don't want toxic. I, why not, man? <laughs> Tell me, give me five good reasons, doctor. <laughs> uh, well, if if your wife, or let's say the person you impregnate at some mm-hmm. point, not necessarily. Mistake like, number one, go. <laughs> when you get babies, if they're, if they're born with congenital toxo, they're fucked. Cool, I'll adopt. Yeah. Next, next reason. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's really <laughs> okay. it. That's it. Same thing with sickle so cell. Like if I breed next. with a woman who has the trait as well, I'm fucked. Your kid's fucked. Kid's fucked, yeah. yeah. Josh, have you heard about that study that uh, that kind of indicates that mice pass on their experience through their DNA to their kids? It's pretty- that that's really tough to prove. They have first of all, you have to actually prove um, that it's Lamarckian principles. Okay. So, like when Darwin came out with um, you know the theory of evolution, which was already a theory even before him, he just like solidified the motherfucker. <laughs> There was Lamarck, who was like a really smart guy, and he talked about like how you, you gain experience and then you pass it on. It's the same idea. So this has been around since mid eighteen hundreds, actually. It's really difficult to prove, but they are they're working on it. And they're they're also like figuring out that there's a huge part of our DNA that we don't understand. Oh, most that, of that, it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so that, like, yeah. That basically, like, I mean, we we, we don't we, we don't have any indication. Because you know? Cause you, you're the guy that would know. I mean, not really. Okay. You would know really, more than you. So it's, yeah. really funny. it's really funny because, 
It's really funny. All through college, I was the science guy. Then my friends were like, hey, well, you know, um, whatever. Like, name a plant, name an animal, name yeah. like some disease. They expected me to know it, um, which is great because, you know. Yeah, nobody, you were always that you know, guy. You were, I would go to you. I was the nerdy fucking science right. kid. Yeah. Um, what were we talking about? We were talking DNA. about DNA. Uh, DNA and whether <laughs> you're whether obviously or not. Really okay, good do, but do, do you do you <laughs> I'm actually not do a you know how, at all. <laughs> how the study went down? Okay, so the human genome project. Is no, 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 no. We're talking about this this mice study. And ba- what no, they, I have no idea. So what they did I don't know. is they I know Lamarckian they took, principles though. They took fathers and uh, father father mice, okay. right? And Pop em. they, Pop em else. <laughs> yeah, when yeah. they they would release a smell into the air, mm-hmm. and uh, when the smell was released in the air, they would get a shock in their feet, oh. and not one to kill them, but enough. And they would kind of do this over and over for their lifetime. Sorry for these poor mice, not a good life. Meh. But anyway, it they had a lot. We had a control group and uh, a placebo group, or yeah. or is that is that the same thing? Whatever. I don't know. So ex- experimental but they, control group. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah, control group in there. So uh, they both both groups like procreated. They took the they took they took the the babies of the yeah. fathers that were exposed to the shock, and they released the the gas, the gas and they freaked the fuck out. Like they 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 yeah. lever they checked yeah. like their hormonal response or whatever. And the ones that came from the father that has a, had those experiences. Seemed, yeah. you know, to survive through their DNA from father to parent, or from like parent to, to kid. Well, so yeah, that's fascinating. What, yeah, what what do you think about? Doesn't that kind of disrupt a lot of what the way we think about evolution? No, no, no. I think no, it if, reinforces it. If anything, well, yeah. if you, if you show if you show just one study, <clears throat> it doesn't right. really mean much. I mean, this right. had you know. <clears throat> Natural selection, which is the guiding theory that we think is right. the majority of evolution, is the, brought, the shit, the shit that works procreates, shit that doesn't work dies off. Exactly, right. very, very basic, basic, right. very be- <clears throat> beautiful theory, like very incredibly eloquent. eloquent. Very eloquent, yeah, very beautiful. <laughs> it's it's so amazing. Uh-huh. Like, I'm just constantly amazed by it. Um, but if you show one study, it doesn't like disprove that right. natural selection sure. is the guiding theory. It's just saying that maybe this other thing has some. Influence. Influence as well. Some effect. It's like saying nature versus nurture. You have to choose one. You don't have to fucking choose one. It's no. like a little bit of both. You don't, you know, you don't think there's some, some, I, 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 I it makes sense to me. I'm like, when you were a kid, I don't know about you guys, but I was just naturally scared of the dark. Like mm-hmm. just hated that shit. Absolutely. And snakes and too, probably. Sn- snakes and monsters. Not, not monsters, just you, man. monsters were real. Yeah. Like to you, mm-hmm. but you didn't know what they were. You just knew there was a thing out there in the dark. Why? Like it doesn't make any sense for a child who's never been exposed right. to said dark to be afraid of it. You have no reference point or anything, but you know right. there's bad in there. You sure. know there's bad. Stay out of the dark. You don't think that's like from thousands and thousands of years of like hunters getting fucked up in the middle of the night sure. by pumas or, and shit? If we looked at it from just evolution, the 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 idea would be that the the people that have that tendency were the ones that survived because right. they had that tendency, right? And the ones that didn't have that tendency died off because they didn't, right? right. Like that would be the predominant view. But there there's some. This new evidence kind of says, well, maybe not. Maybe it just gets transferred. You know, maybe the the, the stuff that survives, the information that you experience through your life, gets mm-hmm. transferred to your kids. But it's not. You, you can't say that of all experiences. No, you can say no, that we don't that, that mouse that, that uh, you really all that study tells me is that for a mice, mouse, right? yeah, for yeah. a mouse who gets exposed to some weird gas and gets shocked. That may or may not be passed on. It looks like there's some evidence that shows that it could possibly for mice and for and this so it's situation. All this, it's all this like hedging. It's like could yeah. possibly have an influence on thirty percent of the population. So to tie this back together from where we started, yeah. Religiously, do you look at science like a religion? Podcast like is pro. science your religion? No. Is that is that the way you look at it? Do you do you see no. anything deeper going on? Do you no, like would... to look at it philosophically? Like how? What's no, your no, 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 what's no. your what's your th- Non, What's non, your philosophy? Noma, non-overlapping magisteria. This is uh, Stephen J. Gold, Rocks of Ages. Shout out Stephen J. Gold. <laughs> um, R.I.P. Stephen J. Gold, actually. Um, brilliant guy. Wrote a book, Rocks of Ages. Um, you know, you, science explains, you know, how things happened. And people are looking for an explanation of, uh, you know, the why we're here type thing. These are two separate spheres. 
and a lot of people argue that that's not true. But I I do think like you can study science your whole life and and do great work and advance the the you know um you know h- human development along by studying science and helping people and um what's really important right i mean important. it's important that we Separate continue from, to yeah. learn how what's hap- what's going on right. what the fuck is happening right. and to do it objectively absolutely that's important yeah but yeah. um like like Neil deGrasse Tyson, he Love he's an awesome guy, right? Super, so he, good. But he came out the other day, and I read something that like for the very first time that I didn't res- resign resound. Is that a word? No, I, don't know. Just I didn't just like what he said. Sure, what he said. Uh, and he was he was like, philosophy is is useless. He said oh, philosophy is okay. is totally of no help to anyone. That's an ego statement. And then I was like, well, what? Philosophy got him like, to where I, he is now. I feel like philosophy's a, like a black man who went to Cornell. To the theory. It, it, I, I'm saying. I almost feel like philosophy is part of science because the first step in science is to have a, an idea, right? And you then you test that idea, and what works you keep, and what doesn't work you throw out, and you continue testing to try to figure out what how that works but it all starts yeah. from a philosophical point because it starts with an idea and that's where you get ideas Ph- philosophy gives us ideas yeah i mean his position in life is built off philosophy he's a black dude that went to cornell <laughs> one of the most amazing colleges in the world studied under carl sagan mm-hmm. the only reason why that he got there was hundreds of years of black writers and authors saying we're human don't treat us anything less than philosophy got him to where he is so that's a crazy statement to make being which is but but it's you know it's grounded in in fact you know what i mean that yeah. you can, well i mean that science too well, that sounds right. good i mean you can you know <laughs> I, mean? I think that that's his point his <laughs> i mean it's all civil liberties it's philosophy right. of humans are equal right he wouldn't yeah. have got there without <laughs> a huge like push well philosophy. it starts with that philosophy right it starts right. with that idea and and yeah like you know not that long ago 200 years ago people literally didn't think that or thought that there was actually a difference between white and black people yeah, they and their thought ability they were to learn and yeah, right. they they thought there was such a right. an, like almost that we were different species yeah mm-hmm. it, that's crazy and that was the the presound, that was the 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 current scientific decision sure. and yeah it would it's take fact, it's fact it would take somebody <laughs> to <laughs> philosophically think in, through in the early 1800s right? new york city had a an exhibit in the Bronx Zoo were humans in it. Like from Africa. No. No, yes. still, they, Is that true? Yes. They had There's photos of it. In a zoo? There's photos of it, There's, Kyle. They had that in a from just where? In, just in Britain. Like last year. They had they, huh? they put they put people that were like actors. Oh. Oh, okay. Actors. You know, yeah, well, but wait, wait, wait. Real. You're talking about there was that you they actually took they had human beings the, from a tribe in Africa in the New York oh, in New York zoo. City. And they put them in a fucking exhibit. That's and it's like, look, up. everybody, look at these things. Yeah, Jesus that's God. less than a hundred yes. years ago. Oh, uh, maybe a hundred and some odd years. Dude, they were turning. I don't care if that was the dogs three on years ago. Like 60 yeah. Yeah. that's. I mean, yeah, that's shit. real. That's it's real. Not that long ago. I don't it, think people it's, have it's, any it's idea how fast an, things are changing. It's two and a half yeah. grandmas ago. Yeah. Two and a half grandmas Holy ago. Right. Fuck. We had we had slaves. Pretty yeah. much. Think about that, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Blew your mind. That feels like a good place to end. Let's wrap this. I like. I like that idea. Yeah, I, I feel good about this podcast, like but like, really you know, and we this. could keep talking, but I feel like we've come full circle oh, yeah. and I'm kind of drunk because I drank a little three bit beers too. in a short period of time. Speaking of a little and, bit drunk, uh, what's up? My co- my grandma found my condoms the other day and I got a really good lecture oh, by Jehovah's Witness. Let's hear it. <laughs> let's hear it. Let's finish with that. Let's finish with that. What did she say? Mona. Mona. Mona found the condoms. Shout out Mona. Yo, Mona. Hey, girl. My roommate. No, <laughs> she she walks in my room and she's like, <sighs> Alec, they're everywhere. <laughs> I'm like, what? And I'm just laying in my bed on Reddit. I'm like, what are you talking about? And she's like, you're like a dog in heat. <laughs> they're in your pants, your wallet, your clothes. You have them in your drawers. <laughs> I'm happy you're safe, but I need a meal dick at a home. Like, so like, she's like, went off. Went off all Spanishy on me. Is Mona Jehovah's Witness hardcore? Okay, you can't get any hardcore than her. Okay, I like, gotcha. Like, you, <sighs> I'm surprised you don't just live on the street. Well, I haven't been home. In th- <laughs> I haven't been home in three days. Like, at, like the more stories I hear about Mona, I think yeah. no, 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 like maybe the street's not so bad. Let me say this though. Let me say this, <laughs> Mona. 
Mona is the greatest woman in my life. She's the best. Yeah. She okay. loves me more We're than not anybody. Being fair. We but her, her, she just grew up in an age of non, <laughs> like a, yeah. she didn't have the internet. She didn't have it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the key. That's the do key. you guys do you guys feel ever that um, you're you have to dumb yourself down for your parents? Yeah, I have to promote. I can't talk about. I, to, that. I feel like not so much my dad, but my mom. Your dad's like an engineer. Well, my dad has a, a weird uh, intelligence to him. He just doesn't talk about it. Right. So, like when I when I talk about stuff, he's right there with me. Dan but like, he doesn't. It, he's had to dumb himself down all the time because he's around my mom all the time. But when I'm, I have to talk to my mom, it's almost like I have to be. I have to kind of in my head be like, okay, it's child. like you're talking to a, like a third but grader the, a little bit. The thing is, she and it's not her fault. You know, but. she she raised you, and she she had like a way of living that worked. And she has it did, her it did work for like and, a long time. And that being said, she and does she, have yeah. a, a life experience intelligence that's right. vastly beyond me, mine. Right. But just certain things like you know like I, a pod like yeah. a podcast. What a podcast is. <laughs> gay rights. Just I have information. My just gay rights. Podcast. Podcast. My information that you could look up on Wikipedia. She doesn't she didn't, Freedom. She didn't get it. Uh, <laughs> Freedom. <Literally. laughs> she can get it. All right. We need Josh. to finish. Josh, you have anything you to say? Been, finish this up. You've been no, this fantastic. Is, this no, you awesome. finished I, 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 I want to come back as often as possible. We, we do this like once a week. We it's, do. Uh, when we miss, we we oh, have bad we, week. Be, we just have terrible yeah. weeks, so we get really shitty. This is this is our therapy. This is what it is. If anybody wants to listen to, to Kyle Fields and Alec Pegon's therapy, hey, bro. we have it once a week, and it's called Meat Head on Mushrooms. Yeah. And tune in. And it's a virtual hangout. If you hey. want to hang out with Josh Gray. Any shout out, Josh? Oh, by the way. Big 10th episode, motherfuckers. Yeah, this yeah. Is no, but Number 10, you guys, motherfucker. You guys oh, didn't like... think we'd make it. Yeah, what's up? You, That's thought, 10 hours, you bitch. thought we'd be Watch done after one. <laughs> no. Thank you, everybody. I hope we make it to 100. For our eight subscribers, you guys are the best. Let's make it 10. <laughs> let's make come it on, 10. Come on, guys. All right, let's Share us do it. Fucking internets. It's easy. All right, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Love you. Kiss, kiss. Bang, bang. Bye-bye.